Okay, so this is our last day in Albarracín and it's cloudy as you can tell by those drone shots uh, so it's not as aesthetic as it could be but climbing wise I think it's going to be better to have a bit of a colder temperature skin has been uh, trashed so I'm not going to try anything harder than 7A today unless I find someone, something that is like uh, not too bad yeah, last day in here looking forward to climb already Before I continue with this video, I have to say that some of the GoPro footage that I took during this day got corrupted and as a result I lost 7 videos of a couple of climbs. This being the first one. A bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Dos mandingas un destino, flash dry. Next quite more though, but I'll try my best. This block took me a bunch of attempts in the end and although being quite morpho I thought it was a really good climb for 7A as long as your wingspan is at least 5 foot 10. After climbing this problem we moved the paths to El Redil which is a boulder where you can find a few good lines. Next up for me was Variante del Redil a 7A problem that climbs an amazing features and that has a crimpy cracks in the middle. It is the kind of problem that resembles a lot of the bouldering you can find in Albarracín. Steep, good holds and a few crimps that lead to a rather easy top out. Top notch climb in my opinion, worth to put on your wish list. Number dos. I'm gonna try En Tierra de Nadie, which involves an Eva, and I'm willing to do that with this nice, brand new, full of skin knee. Uh, it's gonna be painful, so I better just get it right, otherwise, it's gonna hurt. Obvious block to try next was a little traverse called Trave Rasante that starts on the left of the same block and tops out in the same place as En Tierra de Nadie. Unfortunately, I don't have the send footage of this block, although I can tell you that I dropped the top out which I already knew. Lame. What was that? Okay, so I fell on the part that I already knew, which is concerning. I think I just have to get my foot, right foot a bit more further in so I can rock over in it. Yeah, we'll see now. And now I'm going to try El Cartero Siempre Llama dos veces 
uh, which means that the mailman always calls twice. So this is the name of a famous film. In love and out of control. Who are you calling? Anyway, um, the block starts in this corner and finishes off right there. And it's kind of bridgy in the middle and a bit lanky over there to get to the pocket to sing. Uh, wish me luck. Right, so GoPro looks like it's out. Uh, hopefully I will be able to recover the footage, otherwise this video is gonna be not really good. Uh, anyway, I'm filming from my phone now and we are underneath this Placa Roja, uh, which is another 7A uh, that looks quite crimpy. And I think Dave's gonna give it a flash burn now. Let's see how that goes. This guys is the last episode of the Albarracin series. I hope you enjoyed it. The 7 count went through the roof during this trip which got my hopes up to finish the 107th challenge. However, time is running out and despite having some days outside coming up, it's going to be really tight. We'll see if I can actually manage it. If you want to support my channel, please like the video, drop me a comment and subscribe.